Ever wanted to have it to where you can level your skills up individually? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do just that. Having this kind of system in a game, I think, would definitely make it a lot more fun. First thing you're going to want to do is go into the description below and get a very tiny plugin. This is actually kind of required, but what I mean by that is, after using a skill, the help window won't update the description. But with the small plugin I made, it will automatically cause the help window to update, therefore displaying all the information properly. Next thing you're going to want to do is go into the database, go into common events. Now we're going to want to make four variables for each skill that you want to have this kind of system. In this case, we're using Spark. So we have Spark Level, Spark EXP, Spark EXP Max, and Spark Damage. It's also very important to take note of the number of the variables as well. We're going to add Spark EXP by one. Now we're going to create a conditional branch and we're going to check and see if Spark's EXP is equal to Spark EXP Max. And if it is, we're going to increase Spark's level by one. We're going to set the EXP to zero. We're going to set Spark Damage equal to Spark Level. And then we're going to multiply Spark Damage by whatever base damage that you initially wanted to start with in the first place. In this case, I chose 25.50. And then we're going to multiply Spark's EXP Max by two, doubling the required experience for each level up. Also, it's very important to note that you will need to set the initial variables at the very start of the game using a parallel process, like the one you see on the screen now. As you can see, I set Spark Damage equal to 22, and then I set Spark Level equal to one, and then I set Spark EXP Max equal to three. You're gonna need to do this for each skill. Otherwise, you're gonna end up doing no damage. Anyways, on your skill, to display the information, you're going to want to use backslash V, and in between brackets, you're going to want to use the number. In this case, the first variable was Spark's level. The second variable was Spark's EXP, and the third variable here was a Spark's EXP max. And then we display the amount of damage that it does initially, which was variable number four. Now over here in the HP damage, what we're gonna do is we're going to make a damage formula that's based on variables. So I changed up the original a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do the base damage, which was 100, plus V and in between brackets, we're going to uh, do the damage, which is variable number four for this skill, plus A dot magic attack, or MAT, times two, minus B dot magic defense times two, or MDF times two. Now, in the effects area, you wanna go to other, and you wanna select common event, and do spark level up. After that, you're all good. You are golden. Your system should work, and it should be a lot of fun. 